TriCaster allows you to broadcast live video from the Portable Live Production System, but it also allows you to stream those live productions to the internet. Let's take a look at setting up a live internet stream. The stream configuration panel is accessed by the gear right next to the streaming button. We click on that gear and it brings up the streaming configuration panel. Now from here you have access to a wide variety of content delivery networks and you can add any content delivery network to this list. Now you also have a browser right here that allows you to see that content delivery network right inside of the TriCaster and if you don't have an account you can go ahead and sign up for an account with any content delivery network that you'd like. Now most of those content delivery networks once you sign up are going to create a profile for you which you can download. Once you've downloaded your profile, let's go ahead and set up a new stream here. We're going to say we want to set up a new stream and you can choose between Windows Media, Push or Pull or Flash. Go ahead with Flash for this one. And now you're ready to load the profile that you downloaded from the Content Delivery Network. Simply click on Import Settings, navigate to the profile that you downloaded and click OK. And once you've loaded that profile, it will go ahead and configure the streaming profile to stream to that content delivery network. It's that easy. You can literally set up your live stream in just a few minutes. You also have the ability to choose what resolution you're going to be streaming at, and you can stream all the way up to 1280 by 720 high def streaming available today. You can adjust the audio headroom that's happening on that live stream, and you can even test the stream before you go live right inside of the TriCaster's interface. You also have the ability to record the productions that you do in the TriCaster back to the TriCaster's internal drives. Let's go ahead and take a look at configuring the recording. The record configuration panel is reached by clicking on the gear right next to the record button. From here, you can go ahead and set up the recordings you're going to do inside of the TriCaster. You can give it a base name. You can again adjust the audio headroom on the recording itself, and then you can choose what you want to record. You have the ability to record program out, but you can also record auxiliary out. This can be very useful in that you could be broadcasting at one resolution, but recording in another. Or you could be broadcasting with graphics, but recording without graphics. It's a very flexible and powerful direct-to-disc recording system built into every TriCaster. You also have the ability to drop any recording that you've done directly into a DDR. And this is great if you're doing something that you're going to want to be able to review after the recording. As soon as you hit the stop button for stopping the recording, that recording will be dropped into either DDR number one or DDR number two, and you'll instantly have the ability to review it.